Hey everyone, quick shout out to leaders leading in uncertain times, which is where we are right now. I have to admit right now, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with what's going on in our world today. Many of you probably feel exhausted, overwhelmed, and like you need to just take a breath, slow down. It's hard to go back to work when there's so much unexpected going on in the world. I want to share with you as a leader two ways you can help lead people in uncertain times. First thing is for you to remember, as we go through tumultuous times, there will be a lot of uncertainty. People need to see you as a leader. You need to be very visible. People need to, in the middle of stress and conflict, they need to see your presence. Sometimes you don't even have to say anything at all, but all eyes are watching you. And then also just to remember to soften your leadership style. What we tend to like to do is get tough in the middle of struggle. And as we toughen up, it actually fires up our stress response and makes it that much worse. share with you a story. I was on a flight. It was about, oh, time is really going slow during COVID for me now. So it's probably only a year ago, but uh, we had some turbulence. I was in a middle seat, girl on my right aisle seat, a lot of turbulence. She reached my hand. I went, hi. She looked very nervous. So I said to her, it's okay, don't worry. I fly a lot. You're going to be just fine. And then, five minutes later, the plane dropped 40 feet in three seconds. Even I was like, ooh. But everybody, everybody looked around, and they looked up to the front of the plane. That's where we saw the flight attendant. You see, she was the one in control in the middle of all of this. She was the one who was going to get us through this. When we go through turbulence and uncertain times, we're going to look to the front of the room. All eyes will be on you. Tell us what's happening. How will we survive? Is this going to work? So she was sitting there in her jump seat with her seatbelt on. She looked really scared. So we survived the flight, I left the plane, I said to the flight attendant, that was really scary, wasn't it? And she said, oh no, I was just fine, no problem. So something about there's a primary stress and a secondary one. Primary stress is the actual stress that happens to you. So it's when the plane is going through turbulence, that's a lot of stress. When I'm in the air wondering if I'm going to die today, that's a lot of stress. The secondary stress is what you do with that stress. So the flight had landed. We were fine. Primary stress was gone. But her response made me feel even worse. I fly a lot. And somehow when she said everything is fine, I felt like she wasn't being honest with me. Why would she lie? Why doesn't she just tell the truth? That was a little bit scary. It's okay. And that secondary stress, that actually makes it worse for me.
Think about yourself as a leader. As you're leading people through uncertain times, are you helping people to deal with their emotions? So the challenge is most people, when we have emotions that fire up, we tend to push them down, pretend they're not there. But they actually, it actually makes it worse, right? We like to be tough in the midst of leadership, strength in the struggle. But actually pushing it away, it's almost like throwing kerosene on a fire. It only gets worse. And so when as leaders we're not authentic, we're not genuine, we don't recognize how people feel, it's hard on them. You know, when people ask you, how are you doing? We know people only want to know you're okay, that you're good, all is well. You know, if you, if you have a bad back, you didn't get a good sleep, you, you're, you're not feeling really good, you're kind of cranky, people don't want to know that. They only want to know you're doing well and you're happy. But the thing is, underneath, we know. Never waste a good crisis. That was said by someone very important. I can't remember who, maybe Winston Churchill. Uh, and I think it's true. Here's why. Because when we struggle, those emotions get super strong. We are triggered all the time. And if when we trigger, trigger, we get strong and confident, what that actually does is it builds an armor around us, stimulates the stress response, puts us into fight, fight or flight, and it's very hard. So when you as a leader show up and you act like everything's okay and that we should just do our job, suck it up, and don't worry about what's going on around us, even though people feel fear, they feel anxiety, they're stressed out, this is going to put more fear into people. So I want you to remember two things. First of all, as teams go to work and there is uncertainty in the air, as a leader, first of all, craft out those moments in your day where that uncertainty is going to show up. Make sure you're incredibly visible right in front of people so they can see where you stand, where we're headed, what's going to happen. And then secondly, make sure that you lead in an authentic and genuine way. I do know this. The way you lead yourself is the same way that you lead others. If you're not kind to yourself, you can't be kind to others. If you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to take care of others. If you don't listen to yourself, listen to the voice of anger, fear, stress, listen to that voice inside you. Because if you don't listen to yourself, you won't be able to hear others.